Hi, it's Wendy. I hope you are well. I'm very well. I am going to share my story with and please be honest it's my first time doing the video. I am going to share what is the difference between the cochlear implant and the eerie act. I have my laptop in front of me. So Wendy, when I want to take the shot in South Africa with a yearly knot of 145 decibels, a doctor compared me a cake that is a flop. I told my mom that she must send me away and pick her another one. He also mentioned my mom that I would never talk. I was too dead to be education. My mother would stand it from a job and enrolled in undoing the heat courses to help me to know to speak and teach me knowledge. She kind of fucked everything for me. I remember when I was so angry with my mom and I asked her why I didn't get cockney in blood when I was a baby. She told me that she would give me a cockney in blood when I was a baby. But the doctor told her that my skull was too small to get the cockney in blood and that I would see a candidate for a cochlear implant. The doctor recommended her to get a urea out for me. I got my first urea out when I was 14 months old. For 17 years, I was using a switch phonic urea out. They are an amazing brand and did help me a lot with my nervous and to help to keep my brain exercised. And by the start ways, travel to my cochlear, I felt the start that went into my cochlear, took in and out, it did it send to my brain. Maybe very natural. I remember how emotional and frustrated I got when I really wanted to talk on the phone. In my teenage years, I was so desperate to talk on the phone when I experienced all my friends when talking on the phone and I'm the only one that can't talk on the phone and that was before my could come out when we used to do the phone. I was hopeless and I cried so many times and I did practice on how to talk on the phone and nothing made sense to me. And all the stuff I heard on the phone was like boop boop boop, boop boop boop, boop boop boop, boop boop boop, and even caught the FM system. It, it's like a tiny radio with its own French print, whatever. Um, and it had two parts. You one part is the microphone and the other part is within the ear and the microphone sent a signal to the receiver. He wear the receiver on the ears or in the ear at. I had to pretend that I understand that was working for me. I didn't want to hurt the phone like oh to my mother. It did actually help me. I feel so bad. I even got more emotional when they tried so hard to help me. 
and I remember when we did it, the bone dog, a cold bone competition. At the bone neck in Cape Town, I pushed out in inconscionable tears. Because all I heard was a boop 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 and that went on to look at my mom that I should call for a cockney in blood. I refused to get the cockney in blood because I didn't want to wear the metal box on my stretch and that was the old that naughty mother when the new model came out, the first ever new cockney in blood was like an eerie act behind the ear with a magnet. I looked at the new model of the cockney in blood and at 17, I did say to call for it and asked my mom to call for a cochlear in blood and also they took me to the Takambar hospital in South Africa. The undoing the crystal me that I might go for this first. And surprisingly, I was the kind of dog with the cochlear blood. The doctor told my mom, the doctor who did the operation on my cochlear, told that, um, the other doctor told my mom that, that I could get the cochlear blood. It was a lie. Hmm. Hmm. I could have cut the cochlear blood when I was a baby. Before my teenage years, I was over that, I was over keen on that idea of getting a cochlear blood. How do make, how do make the, the most difficult choice? But I want to know what can be on around me. And I was the first person in South Africa to receive a freedom cochlear in blood and the sixth person in the world with a prenatal cochlear in blood. On my first day of switches on, I was excited, but did not expect that the start around me got to be very straight. The auntie little told my family and my mom that I might keep company because she got to switch my cochlear on. And I feel the sound wave travel to my cochlear and sending it in my brain like a shock, shock wave. I, I was shocked as my eyes pop out and I was Food. I looked at my family, they were really having conversation with each other, and it was like a wild noise for me. And I called my mom, Mama, and I burst out in tears. I heard my own voice for the first time very loudly. When the undoing could switch my cochlear off, I felt more calmer in the in my Stanley's world. When she put it on and I cried and cry, cry all the time. I told her that it is not normal. I can't hear, I can't hear. That was I said to her. But because I was I was struggling to understand why is it like a wild noise. I began to understand that my brain needs to need to eat the fat, yeah. and that my brain was was sleepy for seventeen years. It was a long journey 
uh, the experience or new sound around me and it's speed therapy to help me. It took me between six and a year, six months and a year to get used to all that start. At 17, my years were born. I try not to listen to all the words, but I was never ready. And the telephone comfort started to become more clearer. And I become, um, understand more on the telephone comfort session. And they would know more. Boop, 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 boop. With strangers voices, I can't follow on the telephone. I can only follow with the people I know, like my mom, my brother, my friends, my family. They were so many stuff. It saved my life. So every four years, the cochlear in blood um, get improved with a new model with more clearer and fresh. I don't regret that I did not get the cochlear implant at a younger age. I am grateful that I had to experience the difference between the urine head and the cochlear implant. Cochlear implant in the bed, the kitchen, I ever made him. It became my best friend. Now I'm going to say you what is cochlear implant. It's here. It became my best friend. If we put it back, I hope you enjoy it, my story. And if you don't understand me, there's a story that you can read in my blog. So please follow me and stop stressing. Thank you for listening to me. Bye.